Hey there everyone, Clandor here, and I have some sad news. The Halo 360 servers are shutting down. Hey! Stop editing that video and be sad that Halo is shutting down. I've already cried enough. Also, I have Halo MCC and Infinite. Fine. Anyways, it's shutting down on the 360, so I wanted to see if I could get to max rank in Halo 3 before they do. You're going to need a copy of Halo 3, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, which comes with Halo 3 multiplayer, and a copy of Halo 3. I know why I'm here. I need to stop talking to ghosts. Boo! Oh, shut up. I can do this. I have to play Halo. Now that we got our copy of Halo 3, an Xbox, an Xbox Live Gold, we can try to do this. Now the question is, can we get to max rank in Halo 3 before the servers shut down? The answer is no. While trying to do this, I encountered way too many problems. The first problem was it just wasn't working. It wouldn't let me load into the playlist. Information could not be retrieved from Xbox Live. Why? Uh-oh, crap. It's not even letting me select a different playlist now. And I can't get a single match. Not even... I thought maybe I could at least get a, get some ma get like at least a match going. And the other problem was when it did actually let me load into the playlist, I could not find a match. I waited for hours and hours and hours just to find one game. And I couldn't. I just want to say population 117. Let's go. Target. Oh my god, the target skill range is just going down. It was like, uh, it was like, what, 38 to 44 or something, and now it's 28 to 48. Oh my god. I realize there's not that many people playing this anymore, but oh my god. Now the real question is, how long am I actually going to have to wait for it to find one match? Because that's kind of the whole crutch of the situation. Can I find a match in Lone Wolves? Because that's my highest ranking. It's still, it's still looking for a game, huh? You know it says there's 100, it's population, 117 people. Is anyone actually playing this? I wanted to see if I could find a game by myself and actually play with uh, people from with people online but that just couldn't happen with the constant glitches that wouldn't let me even into this dang games and having to wait f so long to find a match now i was considering using two xboxes and a bunch of controllers to see if i could do uh to see if i could max level up but i don't know if i could do that where i could just use dummy accounts to play online and level up c consistently enough or if they have some way to prevent that so with all that combined uh didn't even want to bother with that with the glitches because you would need at least two xboxes eight controllers and at least two different accounts with xbox live gold and uh I didn't feel like wasting money on something that might not even work, especially with the glitches that wouldn't even let me play. That would just be a waste of money if I pay for the Xbox Live Gold and then it's like, hey, you, you, you can't play at all because the servers aren't really working. Yay. So that was my experience with the Halo 3 servers right now, not even being able to play the game. You don't even seem to really care. Well, after I've died, I don't really care much about anything. See, this is why I need to stop talking with ghosts. But it was kind of sad to see Halo 3 like this. It's such a monumental game to so many people, especially on the 360. And it's just, it just doesn't work anymore. I was excited to get into Halo 3 uh, on the original one just to see how you know how it feels compared to MCC but I wasn't even able to play one game the uh, you know the only other option was to try to get a bunch of people together 
and boost it together. But the whole point of this challenge was to see if you can do it solo. I wanted to, I wanted to see if I could get to max rank in Halo 3 by myself without anyone else's help before the server shut down. But even with the extended date that they've given us, I just don't see it possible. So if you want to attempt this, you're gonna need a lot of friends and you know maybe a time machine because it might be a bit too late now <laughs> it's sad to see that halo 3 and all the other ones are not going to be online anymore i know not many people play them anymore and uh we have mcc and so and so much more stuff so it does I, I understand why it doesn't really make sense but it's just something that i always felt comforting knowing that halo 3 and reach and all the other ones were just you know there you know something i could go back to if i ever wanted to was I going to? Eh, maybe. But, you know, it was just it was just comforting knowing that they were there. It's such, a, it's such a monumental thing to so many people and so many people's favorite games right there. So many memories and treasures and memories and treasures built from these games online. And it's sad to see it go. And it's also, you know, annoying because uh, I believe we're not going to be able to earn some achievements in it. So if anyone ever wants to go back to these games, you know, from a you know historical point of view, and see what it was like back then, they're just not going to be able to get the full experience that you want once were able to. You definitely can't finish it solo. <laughs> uh, I found that out because it's just not even possible to play the game solo anymore. I would. There is a couple things that I would love to see. You know, Microsoft and 343 do for this. One of the things that I think would be awesome is if they made achievements somehow unlockable, even out, even if the servers go down, so that you know nobody, you know, just in case nobody was able to get some, they they still have a chance to be able to get them somehow. Two, I think it would be awesome if they just made the game free for everyone, just put it on the Xbox Live Store, gave it to everyone. Because they, they don't even sell it online anymore. They're def they're not making any profits from the Halo games anymore. So, like, I say just give it to everyone for free. You know, as a nice final goodbye. And then, like, everyone can have one final Halo 3 send-off on the servers before they get shut down. And just, you know, let everyone experience the fun chaos that is Halo 3. Will this ever happen? Probably not. But, you know, it would be a, definitely a nice gesture. And then the final thing I would love to see is one final update to the game. And now we'll, <laughs> this is the super uh, most unlikely thing. But I would love to see one final update because, like, the biggest games on the 360 always got uh, achievement updates, you know? Gears of War 3, the Call of Duties, they all got up to 2,000 gamer score achievements. And Halo 3, the flagship title on the 360, only got to 1750. That's always bugged me. It's always bugged me so much. Like, my favorite game, my favorite Halo game, it, like, it just feels wrong for it to not have the same gamer score that, you know, Gears of War and and like Call of Duty got, like when this was a, a monolith with those games as well, it almost feels like a little insulting because like, because that was like the max gamer score you could get was like 1750 with all the DLC and stuff. But then they changed that, I guess, and then the future games got more, but it would be, but it would be so cool if they added like a small update or something to, to let people get up to 2000 gamer score and give us something to do in the game one final time one final hurrah together as we all get these last achievements or one achievement or whatever they would do and it could be just like another you know vidmaster challenge or something you know i know mcc they've been adding in new halo maps and stuff i'm not saying they have to do anything like that especially for a dying game but it would be so cool to see to see this one game get up to 2,000 gamer score, which I was always hoping they might add like one final update to make it happen, to be to be up there with the other greats. But uh, obviously, unlikely that it happened because why would you update, put all this time and effort, and update a game that's you know. Dying, as sad as to say, but for me and many others, 
Or at least just me. Maybe I'm just being selfish, but it would be so great to have one final reason to get into the game and have everyone just go wild into it. So yeah, and you get to max rank in Halo 3. No, very honestly very sad about that because this was my favorite Halo game and not being able to complete it because I was sitting on my butt too long because I just always thought it would be there and I'd get to it eventually, but now that it's too late and I can't do it anymore, so that is what it is. But yeah, would love to would love to see, you know, them do something with this, you know, make the game free, add in like one final achievement, you know, that, you know, make a play date for everyone where like you're going to be playing the where like where like you know, one final event where everyone where 343 says they're going to be playing Halo 3 on Twitch or something and they're going to get everyone together and like have one final send off uh, something to to really give Halo 3, the proper send-off it deserves. Because I would love to see it, and I know so many other people would love to see that. Anyways, this has been another video. You cannot get to max rank, at least solo, by the time the server is shut down. But you can still have a great time with it, at least in the campaign. And thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below what your favorite Halo 3 moment is. And thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy. Oh, just right back into Halo 3. Oh, just feels so good being back, matchmaking.